you folks. Hold on to your hats and pass those Kellogg's Corn Pops. Cause here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Corn Pops! Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you transcribed Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. The stagecoach road to Flat Rock winds through country that's wild and uncivilized, but at the moment, all is peaceful. Only the rattle of the stage as it moves along the road, the creak of the leather as its team of horses pull against their harness, the crack of the whip and an occasional shout from the driver. The passengers inside are half dozing, looking forward to the end of their journey in the town of Flat Rock. Suddenly, as the stage rounds a curve, four masked riders appear. Meanwhile, unobserved, a pair of strangers to Flat Rock rain up at the crest of the hill just above. Well, doggone it, Bill. You're right. Those were shots. We've ridden onto a hold-up party, Jingles. Hey, wouldn't I know we'd hit trouble even before we're in town? That's our business. Come on. Up, boy. Hey, they've seen us, Bill. Let's let them have it. Hold your fire, Jingles. You might hit one of the passengers in the coach. Will they break for it? Hey, there they go. They're getting away. Heading for the rocks. Rain up, Jingles. Let me have your rifle. Oh, oh. Best we can do from here is mark one of them for the future. Uh, you winged him, Bill. That's what I wanted to do. Come on. Up, boy. Ho, ho. Hey, you mean if they try to get help for right. him? Right. They'll give us a lead. Well, here's a stagecoach, Bill. Everybody all right, driver? Ah, sure. Fine. Our payroll shipment's safe, too. Hey, haven't I seen you someplace? Doggone it, Bill. Why doesn't anybody ever ask me that? Any idea who they were, driver? Well, I'm sure they belong to the Shadow Hills gang. Same masks and everything. Uh, they might double back. You gonna follow us into town? Sure. Climb on up there. Good. Thanks. Oh, Bye. trouble, trouble, trouble. Now we ride along and back so the Shadow Hills gang can take a pot shot at us. And there must be some other way I could make a living. Something easy. <laughs> yeah, like raising pole cats. Get up there. Hey, give it. Hey. I want to thank you again, Bill, and Jingles. Oh, it was nothing, nothing at all. Are you sure there's nothing more I can do for you? No, we just wanted to know where the school was. Well, uh, that's it over yonder. Uh, what you aiming to do, Bill, send Jingles to school? <laughs> <laughs> now, listen here. You say the school teacher's name is Miss Sanders? Mm-hmm. Miss Julie Sanders. She's the one, all right. It was. Come uh, so on, long. Jingles. Good luck to you if your schoolwork, Jingles. <laughs> oh, now cut that out. <laughs> I have to go in soon. It's time for school. Just a few questions, Miss Sanders, about the Shadow Hill gang. The, the Shadow Hills gang? Reed Bradford's bunch. Yes, I, I, I know. Hey, you were kind of sweet on Reed Bradford once, huh? Never mind, Jingles. Oh, it's all right. It's true. Reed and I were... Well, I did go with him. But not after I learned he was mixed up in all those robberies. And then when he went to jail... The sheriff here in Flat Rock says you've heard from him since he went to jail. Well, I, I'm not sure... You see, Mr. Hickok, I received two envelopes, each containing large sums of money. As I told the sheriff, I... Well, I'm sure the money's from Reed. Probably part of what he got in that last big bank robbery, huh, man? That's what we're looking for. I haven't touched the money since it was delivered to me. You expect another payment soon? If Reed sends the money on schedule, I mean like the last two payments, well, there should be another visit tonight. Well, that's all right, ma'am. Don't worry. We'll take care of things. All right, Jingles, tonight when the mysterious stranger arrives, you and I will be in that schoolhouse waiting for him. Oh, you just leave it to me, Bill. Don't be no trouble at all for me to catch that hombre. You know, I was always catching things in school. A rap on the knuckles, wad of paper behind the ear. <laughs> Why, once I even caught the measles. <laughs> Wild 
Cow Bill and Jingle sure don't fool around when it comes to getting after the lawbreakers. And your old pal, Panhandle Jim, don't fool around when it comes to eating McKellogg's corn pops either. <laughs> Take it from me, partners. You're missing some real eating if you're missing out on corn pops. They're golden hearts of corn, all popped up fat and happy. They're crisp and crunchy. And listen to this. They're already sweetened for you. Eat them right out of the box or for some real fun at breakfast in a bowl with milk. No sugar needed, mind you. The sweetening's already there. Yes, sir, you've never tasted a cereal as downright good as Kellogg's Corn Pops. Now, tomorrow, sure, you'll want to saddle up and ride for the store. Load up on Kellogg's Corn Pops so you'll have plenty around for breakfast and snacks. Now, here's what you'll read on every box of Kellogg's Corn Pops. Kids love Pops, moms love Pops, and Pops love Pops. You can bet your boots they do. <laughs> now, uh, let's get back to the show. Back to Bill and Jingles. Several hours later now, and they wait, hidden in the shadows of the darkened schoolhouse. Hey, you think he's going to show up, Bill? Shh. Listen. Get back. Well, I'm doing my best, but there's more of me. Quiet. That's funny. What? Oh, hey, look, Bill. He, he's stopping out in front. Hey, hey, now he's putting something in the school mailbox. I know the money from Reed Bradford, you reckon? I think so. Hey, let's get him. Hold it, you! Climb down from that critter! Wait! Hold it, Jingles. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill, you spoiled my shot. Are you letting everybody get away? Let's have a look in that mailbox. Oh, there it is, all right. Money. A lot of money. Yeah, and a lot more hidden where we never will find it. I don't see why you didn't let me stop him, Bill. If you'd killed him, he couldn't have led us anywhere, Jingles. You got a couple of matches? Sure. Why? I'll strike a couple. I want to search the road out here. Oh, search the road. Oh, well. Hold them down closer. Over here now. Come on. Over here. Hmm. Hmm? What? I thought that horse dropped a shoe when I was coming up the road. Huh? Dropped a shoe? It was so quiet, and his hoofbeat suddenly sounded different to me. Hey, come to think of it, why... Here's a shoe, Jingles. Now we'll just see if that blacksmith in town gets a little visit soon. <laughs> Sign a trick yet, Chris? Yeah. How's Shorty? That bullet he stopped this afternoon ain't doing him any good, that's for sure. It ain't doing any of us any good. If he hadn't gotten himself plugged, we'd be miles away by now. Not... Hold it. Hold it, Chris. Somebody coming. It's Trig. Oh, holy hell, boy. Yeah. About time you got back. Well, where's the doc? He's out of town over to Willow Creek. Won't be back till the morning. All right. That settles that. We ain't waiting. We're moving on. Shorty ain't in no condition. I man. don't care if he is or not. It's too risky staying here. Well, okay. Only Reed wouldn't have... I don't care what Reed would do or wouldn't. I'm running this outfit now. Sure, sure, Chris. I only meant that your brother... My was... brother's in jail, and he's going to stay there a long time. Now forget him. Come on, let's start moving. Maybe you won't be so anxious to move on after I tell you who I saw in town a little while ago. Huh? Who'd you see? Our old friend, Pop Willis. Pop Willis? Say, we ain't seen him since he left the gang back at Abilene, right after the law caught up with Reed. So Pop Willis is in Flat Rock, eh? Well, that's mighty interesting. Him and Reed always was pretty close, Chris. Reed trusted Pop when he didn't trust us. Yeah. Hey, you know, Trigger, I always had a hunch Reed told Pop where he'd hidden that money. I figured the same all along. Well, do we move on or don't we? We move, but not too far from Flat Rock. I know just the place, an old hideout of reeds, the caves behind the waterfall in Dutch Canyon. Let's go. Hold it, Trig. Shorty, Dave, and me are going to the cave. You're riding back to Flat Rock. Keep your eye on Pop Willis. I want to know every move he makes. <laughs> Ah, 
coming. Uh, did you bring the... Did we bring what, Pop? Well, uh, I was just going to have my meal in the room here. And, uh, we had a little talk with the blacksmith in town. He told us you were staying here at the hotel. Can we come in? Uh, you're a marshal, ain't you? U.S. Marshal? Two U.S. Marshals. And you're Pop Willis, Reed Bradford's best friend. Go on in, Jingles. After you, Mr. Hickok. Uh, Hickok? Hey, you've come to... Look, I'm not with the Shadow Hills gang anymore. I left him as soon as Reed went to jail. Oh, sure. I believe him, Jingles. Sure. They like to get their hands on me, too. So you could lead them to the money you and Bradford hid? I don't know about any money. We were watching you at the school last night, Pop. Oh. We talked to the blacksmith about the shoe your horse dropped. Here it is. Uh, uh, all right. Reed Bradford wanted that teacher there to be well cared for. You going to take us to the place you hid the rest of that money? Well, uh, might as well, or tell you where it is. You see the... Oh, hey, Bill, some polecat shot him. Pop. Uh, no use. No use, son. I... Uh... He's gone. The shot came from the window, Jingles. Let's get out there. Oh, oh, oh. No use, Jingles. Our killer had too big a start. Yeah, trail gets away from us just down the river there. Right. We'll ride up the canyon just on the chances he swung off at the waterfall. Well, he's around here somewhere. Sure. I'll bet the whole gang is somewhere. Oh. Come on. Oh, oh. Up, boy. Up. Hickok, he trailed you out here? Yeah, him and that sidekick of his. But I give him the slip. <laughs> it's too bad they don't know about this cave behind the waterfall, huh? What happened in town? Well, just like you asked me to, I kept my eye on Pop. I seen Hickok and his partner grab him at the hotel. They was trying to make him talk. About the money? Yeah. And Pop knew where it was, all right, just like we figured. You know what Reed's been doing all this time with our money, Chris? Mm. He's been sending nice big chunks of it to that school marm. What? Yeah, every month. Pop's been delivering it to her. Well, what do you know? Reed was always crazy about that Julie Sanders, but I never thought he... Hey, wait a minute. Pop didn't tell Hickok where the money was, did he? <laughs> he didn't get the chance. What do you mean? I shut him up with this. Mm. I got him with my first bullet. But you killed him? What, you crazy fool, you... Now, now, wait, Chris. Boy, with Pop dead, how are we going to ever find that money? I got an idea. It's about the school marm. A way we can make Reed tell us where he hid that money. I'll let go of me, will you, boss? All right, all right. Now spill it, but it better be good. <laughs> Doggone it, Bill. That hombre's given us a slip. No sign of him anywhere. Afraid you're right, Jingles. We'll forget him for now. We've got more important things to do back in Flat Rock, like paying a visit to Miss Julie. What for? We don't know how long the killer was standing at the window of that hotel. He might have heard a lot. You mean about Bradford sending all that money to the school, Marm? Yeah. Reed sure must have been plumb local about that little filly to do that. And it stands to reason he wouldn't want anything to happen to her. That's right, but... Hey, hey, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm thinking if that gang could get their hands on Julie Sanders, it'd be a way of forcing Reed Bradford to tell him where the money is. Why, them low-down, ornery polecats. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Ho, ho! Thank you, ma'am. Good night. Well, Bill, did you talk to the school marm? Nope. That was her mother. Miss Julie's gone. Gone? Left about a half an hour ago, right after she got my message. Your message? You didn't. Of course I didn't. Mr. Sanders said a man came by, told Miss Julie I'd sent him, that I wanted to see her right away. Doggone, did Miss Julie's mother say what the critter looked like? Yeah, kind of tall and skinny. Trigger. Yeah. Come on, Jingles. Let's ride. Uh, say, Bill, where are we heading in such a hurry? Got a long ride ahead of us, Jingles. We're going to Abilene. Abilene? Why? Bradford's in jail there, isn't he? Sure, but what about the school marm? Quickest way to find her is to go to Abilene. We could spend days up there in the hills looking for the gang hideout. 
Might find her too late. But Bill... No harm will come to her, Jingles. Leastways, not until after one of the gangs had time to talk to Bradford. You know, I got a hunch she's going to get a visitor by morning, and I want to be there when that hombre shows up. <laughs> Morning, Sheriff. Yeah, well, doggone, Wild Bill Hickok. I thought you was over in Flat Rock. Howdy, Jingle. Howdy, Sheriff. Well, what are you two doing over here in Abilene? Got a little business to take care of, Sheriff. Reed Bradford had any visitors this morning? Yeah, Bradford? No, nobody's been around. Why? When that visitor shows, let me know right away, will you? Yeah, why, sure, Bill. 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 What? Yeah, yeah, say, that looks like... uh... Chris Bradford, Reed's brother. A visitor I've been expecting, Sheriff. Say, uh, any place we can get out of sight, don't want him to see us. You are sure. Uh, room back there. Uh, help yourself. Okay. Don't close the door all the way, Jingles. Leave it open a crack. Here he comes, Bill. Morning, Sheriff. Good morning, Mr. Bradford. I'd like to see my brother, if you don't mind. I reckon I don't. All right, just hang your guns on that peg. There you are, Sheriff. Wasn't aiming to break Reed out. Well, I didn't say you was. Uh, Come on. He's in his cell back here. Hey, what do we do now, Bill? Nothing. We just wait, that's all. Just wait. I'd sure like to know what the Bradford brothers are going to be talking about. I sure would. They'll talk about the hidden money, mostly. But if Reed hasn't told so far... I got a hunch you'll talk now. If only to save Miss Julie from harm. Oh, I get you, Bill. So we wait. And we trail him. Yeah. He's up, Jingles. We don't want to get too close to him. Hey, hey, look, he's stopping, Bill. Reckon the money's close by? Yeah. He's getting off his horse. Heading for that big cottonwood just off the trail. Come on. We'll go the rest of the way on foot. Easy. We don't want him to hear us. Hold it. I think he heard us. He's looking this way. No, I don't think so. Look, look, look. He's reaching under the tree. He's after the money, all right. Yeah. Stuffing something in his saddlebags. Do we get him, Bill? No, we'll just stay on his trail. We've still got to find Miss Julie, and I'm hoping he'll lead us to her. Yeah, but if he don't lead us into an ambush first... That you, Chris? Yeah. He's up on your guns, Trig. You get the money? There it is. <laughs> I told you Reed would see it our way. The pretty little lady here give you any trouble? I had to put a gag on her this afternoon. She heard someone out front start to holler for help. There was only Dave coming back from town. I got him up on lookout now. Yeah, I talked to him on the way in. I ain't sure, but I got a hunch I was being followed. If that's so, Dave will be ready for whoever it is. Well, what's the matter, lady? That gag uncomfortable, huh? (laughs) Sure, sure. We'll take it off when we're good and ready. Chris! Chris! Dave, I wonder if... Yeah, what is it? Got a couple of visitors, Chris. Caught these two hombres sneaking around outside the waterfall. Howdy, Bradford. Well, well, well. Wild Bill Hickok and his partner. Nice place you got here. But for a boy of my size, well, it's a little snug. Keep him covered, Dave. (laughs) Look who's come to pay us a visit, Miss Sanders. (laughs) The great Wild Bill himself. I got plans for you, Mr. Hickok. For you and your friend. Yeah, I got plans. And I don't think you're going to like those plans at all. Hmm, man, what a show. But let's settle back for a second and cool off, huh? I want to do a little chinning about something extra good. I mean the cereal that's already sweetened for you. Now, you know that vitamins and minerals in the food you eat are mighty good for you, help make you real healthy. Well, Kellogg's Corn Pops, delicious as they are, contain B vitamins, vitamin D, with important minerals and food energy, too. That means you can eat all you want. 
And the reason you'll just keep on eating them is because those golden hearts of corn are puffed up big and smiling with flavor. And they're already sweetened for you. Eat them out of the box or out of a bowl with milk. But don't use any sugar because the sweetening's already there and plenty of it. And that silver-like bag inside the box is really something. It's pure aluminum. Keeps corn pops fresh up to ten times longer. And your mom can use it to store things in the refrigerator or for wrapping sandwiches. Yeah, partners, best of all and already sweetened for you are Kellogg's Corn Pops. You know who loves Pops. Kids love Pops. Moms love Pops. And Pops love Pops. <laughs> right, partners. Now let's sashay on back to Wild Bill and Jingles. <laughs> Back to Wild Bill Hickok. It's a few moments later now, Bill and his friend Jingles, at the point of a gun held by a member of the Shadow Hills gang, have been led into the cave hideout to face Chris Bradford. Yeah, Mr. Hickok, I'd say you'd come to the end of your trail, you and your partner. Uh, Dave. Yeah? Ain't you a little careless, getting a draw on Hickok and leaving his guns in his holster? There wasn't much you could do about that, Bradford. Mm-hmm. Besides, I need my guns. Right now. Dave. Reach, gents. Dave, you gone plumb loco? With a drop on him, you just stand there and let Hickok draw his guns. What else could I do? My gun's empty. What? That's right. <laughs> I emptied it before we came in. Sorry, fellas, it was just a little trick. So's we could come in here peaceful-like without any shooting. We didn't want to take the chance of the lady getting hurt. You're not getting away with... <laughs> Don't move, Trigger, or you'll get the same. All right, Jingles, get their guns. Got them, Bill. Well, I guess that about winds up the Shadow Hills robbery. Yeah, well, we got the money and the rest of the gang, and there's only one little detail we ain't taking care of, Bill. Hmm? Oh, Miss Julie. Take the gag off, Jingles. Uh Uh-oh, not me. That's one job that's yours. What do you mean? Ain't nobody ever going to say I help make it possible for any woman to talk more than she usually does. And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. Well, folks, we'll be around again next week with another adventure. So, hope to see you then. Right, Andy? Yeah, that is, if I don't start raising polecats in the meantime. (laughs) Andy and I also hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Corn Pops. Right. It's the great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Corn Pops are great. So long. See you next week. Yes, sir, be sure to listen next week at the same time on this same station when Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Gene Bates, Joe Duvall, Fred Howard, Jess Kirkpatrick, Clayton Post, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce, music by Dick O'Rant. This is a David Heyer production. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you, kids love pops, moms love pops, pops love pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops. (laughs) 